Uh, my name is Gary Dyson. I'm the chief pilot for Orbis and a volunteer pilot as well. And uh, this is my 21st year to volunteer for Orbis. Since 1982, we've been doing our best to treat and prevent avoidable blindness around the world. It, we, we compass the globe. We've been to 97 different countries in our history. The airplane in flight is all packed up. The hospital is all strapped down. Everything back there is stowed. The equipment that you see outside the aircraft is uh, generators, uh, chillers for air conditioning. All that goes in the cargo hold of the airplane. So when we arrive, the first thing that happens is all that equipment is unloaded and uh, connected so that we have air conditioning and med gas goes to the hospital, uh, all those things. And it takes between three and six hours to do that, depending on what kind of uh, loading equipment uh, is available at that particular airport. It's, it's quite a thing to see the transition from flight mode to hospital mode. There's many months of planning for these programs, so when we arrive, the local medical professionals have assembled a, a group of 50 to 60 potential cases that are good for teaching or a case that's complicated that really needs to be seen by uh, our doctors. And then the, the teaching begins. Our volunteer doctors and nurses teach the local medical professionals how to do cataract surgery and other procedures to take care of their own people so that when we leave, they can continue the program. The first day of every week is a screening day where our doctors and nurses screen that group of 50 to 60 down to 25 or 30 that are the really good teaching cases. And those are the patients that will be operated on that week. In the classroom, there are 46 seats in here. During the surgery, to your right there is a 3D television. The moderator up here can point things out and also ask questions of the surgeon who's doing the surgery in the back. There'll be as many as 12 people in the operating room because everyone is training someone in the operating room. You can fill this with people to watch the surgery, ask questions, and be trained up here. And that same lecture and surgery can be streamed off the airplane so that someone on the other side of the world can watch it on their smartphone and text in a question and get it answered. And during the COVID pandemic, uh, we haven't been able to go do surgery programs in countries because of all the travel restrictions. So our cyber site has quadrupled in its use because we've been able to do training over the internet, consult with doctors, patients over the internet, and it, that's grown considerably. And uh, that's a large portion of what Orbis does. The airplane's only about 20% of the uh, program. We do hospital-based programs, which is doing the same thing that we do with the airplane without the airplane. They just send doctors and nurses to a hospital in a city and they do training on a little bit smaller scale. We always partner with a local hospital where we go. It gives us two operating rooms to train in and it also allows the voluntary faculty, the doctors and nurses, to, to see what equipment they have in their hospital and train to their level of expertise and to their level of equipment so that uh, we don't just come in and show off our cool stuff here and then leave and they can't, they don't have it, you know. Most programs are repeated every couple of years so that we can see how their programs have progressed and uh, find out better ways to Im improve their program for them. Here's the operating room. We have observation windows here and in the laser room as well so that more people can watch. The microscope that uh, suspended over the patient has a set of eyepieces for the surgeon. It has a set of eyepieces for the trainee on the side. And then the camera uh, will broadcast whatever's there onto the screen up front or wherever the technician wants to put it. This is a fully accredited hospital per U.S. standards, and uh, in fact, this is a positive pressure room in here, in the uh, operating room, to keep the germs out. This is the uh, pre-op and post-op area. Prior to going in the operating room, patients will get anesthetized here. The children will be given a teddy bear when they come through, because uh, many of the children in the countries we go to, they've never been on an airplane, they've never been up a set of stairs, uh, they never seen people that talk funny like we do, so giving them something to hold on to is, is important. And the bear goes home with a patch on its eye, just like the patient will. And then the next day they'll come back and uh, get the patch off and they can see. 338 million people in the world are blind or uh, visually impaired in some way. 
and about 80% of those don't have to be blind. All they need is uh, some treatment, some medical care, cataract surgery, and they can see again. For the volunteer pilots like me, uh, it's really, really special to get to fly an airplane like this, uh, one of a kind, to places in the world you never heard of till you went there. What keeps us coming back is seeing people get their sight back because uh, it, it just makes such an impact on their family and their community to get blind people sighted. And children especially, it's just, uh, it just warms your heart to see a child who can't see on Monday who can see on, on Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, that keeps us coming back to do it over and over again.